Amy and Rory returned to Earth sometime before the spring of 2011. Their families believed they had been in Thailand the entire time. As a couple, Amy and Rory were captured by Adam Mitchell and trapped with many other companions of the Doctor in Adam Mitchell's fortress. Along with the others, they were released by Frobisher and assisted the first eleven incarnations of the Doctor as they fought through the Tremors Master's army of Ottens. During this ordeal, Amy and Rory briefly caught the eleventh Doctor with a new girl, who he introduced as Clara Oswald. After Adam thwarted the Master's plot to destroy the universe at the cost of his life, all the doctors and their companions oversaw his memorial before taking their leave. Amy and Rory got on with their home life, occasionally seeing what appeared to be the doctor, waving to them from history until they received a TARDIS blue invitation. The doctor later said that before responding to the invitation, Amy was kidnapped by Madame Covarian and the church, who had found out that she was pregnant. She was replaced by a gang or duplicate to whom her mind was linked, making it seem to both her and those around her that she had not been abducted. Rory and Amy joined the Doctor and River Song for a picnic at Lake Silencio, Utah on the 22nd of April 2011. Amy and the others stayed back at the Doctor's orders, as a younger version of River hidden inside an astronaut suit shot the Doctor dead, though he was actually a tesselected double. They gave the corpse a Viking funeral afloat on the lake, using gasoline brought by the other invitee, an elderly Canton Everett Delaware III. Amy, Rory and River went to a diner to find a younger 11th doctor had been invited as well. Amy persuaded him to find the younger version of Delaware in 1969. They found him in Richard Nixon's Oval Office on the 8th of April of that year. Delaware joined them to find the frightened little girl in Florida who was able to telephone Nixon wherever he was. They discovered the Silence, who were aliens which had been ruling Earth since the Stone Age. After Amy was hypnotized by a silent, she told the doctor that she was pregnant, before she had even told Rory. Seeing a spacesuit approaching the doctor, Amy grabbed Delaware's revolver and fired. Inside was a little girl whom Amy was grateful for having not injured. Amy became a renegade to give the silent a false sense of security, traveling to North Dakota, South Dakota, Washington and Idaho to find more about them. After three months of running, Amy faked her death by appearing to have been shot and killed by Agent Delaware who delivered them in body bags to the doctor at Area 51. Leaving in the TARDIS, Amy opened the entrance and the doors leading to the swimming pool for River Song's arrival from the 50th story of a New York City skyscraper. Amy and Delaware investigated a nearly abandoned orphanage in Florida which was filled with silence. There, Amy found a photograph of herself holding a baby, in a girl's bedroom, and momentarily saw a woman with an eye patch looking through a slot that disappeared. When the doctor and Rory came to find her, she had vanished, leaving a device that was supposed to be permanently bonded to her on the floor. When Amy regained consciousness, she was strapped to a table. The silence told her she would bring the silence. After she was rescued by Rory, the doctor, and River, Amy informed the doctor that she was not pregnant after all and explained that she spoke to him first because she was worried that all of her travels would cause her baby to be born with a time head or other mutation, a concern the doctor dismissed. Nevertheless, he surreptitiously scanned her and found her pregnancy status oscillated positive and negative. Landing in the 17th century, Amy helped the doctor stop a siren abducting the crew of Henry Avery's pirate ship, the Fancy. While she slept aboard the Fancy, Amy awoke to notice the woman again looking through a hatch, this time looking directly at her. The siren was really a virtual doctor from an invisible spaceship in the same space as the fancy. Amy saved a drowned Rory's life with CPR after he convinced her she could do it. The fancy's crew commandeered the spaceship to see the stars. The doctor steered the TARDIS into a bubble universe to look for the Time Lord the Corsair, who had sent a distress signal. Amy and Rory were trapped inside the TARDIS by house who planned to use it to escape to find new food. To amuse itself, House used the TARDIS, temporal nature to torment Amy. She was made to believe Rory had died of old age. They were saved by the Doctor, who regained entry to the TARDIS and used its very soul to expel, kill House. While the Doctor performed recalibrations on the TARDIS, Amy decided to go shopping at the spaceport and shopping complex Spaceport 1. A boy called Paulus ran out of a bakery, slamming straight into Amy. The reptilodon baker falsely accused the boy of stealing a donut. 
Paulus told Amy about a man in the back of the room, and Amy asked him to go around the back of the bakery and talk to him to find out what was going on, while Amy kept the baker busy. Amy was unaware that this man was Rory. Running from the back of the bakery, Paulus warned Amy about an invasion as dozens of reptilodons who had arrived through a transmat gateway. Amy and Paulus pushed back the invading reptilodons by throwing cakes at them and blocking them with a counter until the Judun security officers arrived. Amy watched as the Judun arrested the reptilodons before she returned to the TARDIS. A solar tsunami sent the TARDIS crash landing in the 22nd century. Amy became involved in a ganger revolution, helping them achieve equality despite being wary of the ganger doctor. During this time, Amy saw the eyepatch lady twice. The doctor dismissed her as a time memory. Amy let his impending death slip to the doctor. After the ganger doctor had stopped the revolution, the doctor promised to find her and destroyed her ganger body. Amy awoke in her real body on Demon's Run. She was full-term pregnant and the eyepatch lady, Madame Covarian, ordered her to push. Amy entered labor with a horrified scream, 